When two Domino's Pizza employees filmed a prank in the restaurant's kitchen, they decided to post it online. In a few days, thanks to the power of social networking, they ended up with felony charges, more than a million disgusted viewers, and a major company facing a public relations crisis. A couple knuckleheads were at a Domino's, and they work there, and they videotaped them putting the cheese in their nose, passing gas on the salami, and then... <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> and then making, Don't laugh. I, you only encourage that. I know. Well, but... but okay. <laughs> so they do this, right? Uh, you know, if you, if you if you put a sign on your forehead that said "fire me," it would be less effective. But anyway, so then they post the video online, and then everybody's looking at it and they're disgusted. Some people at um, uh, the Consumerist dot com were watching it, and they were able to, by clues in the video, figure out exactly where the store was. They alert the Domino's. The Domino's local branch says, that's you in the video. They find out about it. They fire the employees. And felony charges are against these two kids. They say they did not serve the food to anybody. They just did it as a prank. They say, this is how we roll a Domino's. Ha, ha, ha. I think it's interesting that as disgusting as the video evidently is, it's since been pulled from YouTube. A million people have watched it. I mean, people go, oh, this is so gross. It's terrible. And then... And, and then they send it to their friends with that, and then they watch it, too. It's, it's funny how you would think that would be warning not to watch it, but, of course, people do. So Domino's now has this major public relations crisis, and Domino's knows a thing or two about PR. I mean, they do some pretty creative campaigns. So their CEO has put out his own video, and he is dour, and he is sad and angry, and he says, this is a serious crisis, and we're going to blah, 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 blah. And I'm wondering, A, if you saw it, and what do you think about all of this? Sam Chapman is the CEO of Empower Public Relations here in Chicago. He's been on with us before talking about these sorts of things. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. You didn't see that video, did you? I saw it all, and I haven't had pizza ever since. That's what they're worried about, too. People aren't going to order their pizza or sandwiches, even though they say, look, isolated incident, it was a prank, and it wasn't served. How does that affect a pizza made in Chicago? But... The ripple effect is is hard to know, isn't it? Well, it is hard to know, and it, I think Domino's has to look at their role in this. Um, they're acting as if they're the victims and they're suing people. I think they're headed down a bad path here. Um, and if this were my client, I would advise them to institute a firm-wide retraining program for their employees, and I would give something away to the public, and I would not sue anybody. Yeah, they're suing the employees themselves, which, you know, a couple knuckleheads. I mean, I don't know how much they're going to get out of that. I don't know what the point of putting them in jail is either. I mean, I think they, the kids were arrested. They were arrested. I, I, you shouldn't do this, but, I mean, the food wasn't served to anybody. It was just a stupid prank they played in the restaurant. It was until they put it on YouTube, and they, they knew the damage they might be causing. So, oh, you th- I guess. You think so? I mean... Uh, I, I, I do think so. We, we all live in a viral age. We... we I mean, to have produced that, to have had the wherewithal to produce it and put it on YouTube, um, you're, you're not a neophyte. You're not a knucklehead. Yeah. Um, you're not, you shouldn't probably be making pizza. Um, <laughs> they should be uh, in big trouble, which they are. But I don't think Domino's should be putting them in trouble. I think they're continuing the story through civil litigation, well, that's, which could drag on. Well, listen to, listen to what the CEO said. I'll play the audio for you here in just a second. I, 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 that was one of the thoughts I had. The story has more legs now because of the way they're responding.